people of the internet. I'm Stuart and this is another smart home video. Uh, the topic today is lights, camera, action tiles. Um, so if you've been following my channel, you know I love action tiles and I've got it set up already. Um, however, there's uh, been some um, enhancements made to it so you can add media tiles and you can also resize your tiles now and add icons and things like that. Um, so you can make it look even better than it was before. Um, but also there's other people out there that's been doing some amazing things with it. Um, really using the media tiles um, to really show off what action tiles can do. Um, and one of those people um, is called Jonathan Milam. He's got the best smart home setup I have ever seen. It's amazing. The guy is a legend. Um, his action tiles uh, set up is brilliant. He's got like a, um, an Iron Man theme. He's got an Iron Man mirror uh, and within that he's got uh, his Alexa built into it, his Nest thermostat and his um, his tablet for his action tiles. Um, and he's got loads of great things he can do with it. So he's kindly agreed for me to share his video um, on his setup. Um, so I'm gonna show you that and please watch it all the way through because it is just incredible. Um, and then if, if my plan for this video works out, um, what I will do is after you've seen his setup, I will try and show you how you can do something similar yourself. Um, so enjoy. Oh, and just a quick one for those that don't know, Action Tiles um, is a product that works with the Samsung Smart Things Hub uh, and basically allows you uh, to create a visual display for all the devices you've got connected up to your Smart Things. Oh, and just a quick one, for those that don't know, Action Tiles um, is a product that works with the Samsung Smart Things Hub uh, and basically allows you uh, to create a visual display for all the devices you've got connected up to your Smart Things. Okay, really quickly, I'm just going to show you my Action Tile setup uh, so you can see what that looks like. Uh, as you see, lots of tiles, lots of things going off 
pretty much all the tiles are the same size apart from the living room speaker and the smart home monitor I didn't set those, they was kind of defaulted to that size um, so it looks pretty good but I can do better so uh, hopefully at the end of this video this will look a million times better okay so I'm gonna go and look for some media images that I'm going to use in Action Tiles. Uh, one thing I just want to say, this website's amazing, JGG Development. That's got my first image that I'm going to be using uh, in Action Tiles. And if I just open that image up, so you can see it's got a three day forecast. And if you click here into the URL um, to change the location, you just come right to the end and where I've got Nottingham, you can replace that with London, Birmingham, wherever. Um, and also, this, you can also edit the colors of the tile here. So we can change the background color using that's, uh, that color code, uh, the body color and the title color. And if we just go to, go, just do a search and do CS, S. colors and go to W3C schools and let's just pick on, on here so we've got all the colors under the sun that you might want to use and it's the hex value that you're after you just use whatever it says here for the corresponding color just don't use the hash um, yeah you find any anything you want on here as well so that's really handy to use I'll link this one in the video as well so I'm going to be using this then I'm going to be using this so like a radar view of the weather and uh, also I want a really cool picture I'm, I'm going to be using this Pac-Man one I'm going to have a bit of a Pac-Man theme uh, and this is Giphy Dot com uh, you can find millions of gifts on here it's, it's really good um, so I'm going to be using this one I'll start off I'll add this one first so if I just click on copy link and I'll just grab the gif link copy that and I'm going to go to my action tiles So I'm going to click on add. I'm going to add media. Uh, it's listing two I've got there already. Click on add media, give it a name. So this is Pac-Man. This is a GIF. Obviously if you've got like smart cameras and you can use this to also uh, stream live video into it as well. This is just a GIF, so let's paste in that code, and as you can see, uh, it's coming straight away. You can also click into it to set the refresh rate if you want to as well. If I hit save, it's now saved that media for me as well. Uh, now I'm just going to go in and just grab this weather image. Let's just add weather forecast. Paste that in. Um, there you go. I think this one refreshes itself every few seconds uh, and it will rotate it through the different screens like that. So let's just call this three day forecast save that one okay so now I can choose these and add them in so I'm going to have my first one being Pac-Man uh, 3 day forecast and weather radar save that they added in now if I want to add in all my switches etc I can go here click on thing and it's listing all my things so what do I want let's have my We'll start off with the things downstairs. So I'll get my living room light in. Uh, let's have my music player. Uh, 
Do -do -do. And it's just adding a few other things as well just to demonstrate it. So bedroom light. Let's add a motion sensor. Trad fire switches as well. Let's add those in. Let's have a watch TV thing as well. So let's save that. So there's all my things listed there. Um, now I can come in here if I click on tile options and click on tile settings. Uh, I can then give each tile a label, uh, and you can hide that as well. And then I can give it a tile width and tile height. So for my Pac-Man, I want to go. Let's give it a two by two save that and if we just want to see what that looks like click on view and obviously on this screen it will appear different to what it does on um, a tablet so let's just shrink this down a bit and you see as you start to resize it you get an idea of what it's going to look like so let's go back I'm going to change the settings on this. I think I want to get a granite setting, towel size option. Let's tick that. So I've changed uh, the theme of it here. Let's go back to it. Okay, so. I'm going to make my 3D forecast. Let's have it 3 by 2. This feels about right. Uh, weather radar. I'm going to just make this bigger. I'm going to make that 3 by 3. Living room. I want big tiles. I don't want them small. But I can give this one an icon as well now. So I'm just going to hide the label so obviously this is a light switch so light bulb and tile height I'm going to have 2 by 2 uh, one thing we can do as well is if I can find the option is arrange tiles so I can change the order that you see these so and it's just a case of dragging them where you want them so uh, I think after my Pac-Man I want some of my light switches so I have my living room uh, bedroom and the kids room then I'm going to have my 3D forecast followed by my living room speaker uh, and my hallway lights um, let's have my watch TV harmony activity there just ok that and then Let's have another quick view of what that looks like. So you can see I've, I've spaced them out. The, the themes changed on there. Uh, what else should I do? I need some of my, my buttons a bit bigger. So try to try. Let's have a little bulb. And let's have that too by two do the same with this one two by two I'm gonna make my Pac-Man larger three by three uh, I think that will do so um, I'm going to show you what this looks like on my tablet and hopefully this gives you an idea of what you can do uh, and how you can get action tiles set up the way you want it. Um, 
thing I recommend most is just have a play. Um, you can spend a long time getting it looking perfect. Um, just have a go, have a play, um, change a few things, then have a look, see how it, if you know how it looks, um, and then keep doing it until you get it perfect. Um, so yeah, that's it in a nutshell. Uh, like I say. All of these uh, websites and images that I've been using, I will put a link into the video below as well. And here it is on my tablet. So uh, it's got everything on there as you can see. Still needs a bit of work in terms of the spacing of, of everything. It's not how I'd, I'd like it. But just let me quickly flick onto another one that I've done. Go to my panels. Got another one I did called Mean Tiles. So this one's got R2D2 on it. And again, it still needs a bit of work getting the spacings right. But I prefer this one to the other one. I've got my weather looking nice all down this side. And my light switches and that. There's just a space here in the top right hand side I don't like so maybe it's just a case of making one of these tiles at the top um, one tile wider um, but yeah it, took, it takes a few goes to get it how you want to just persevere it will pay off I promise so big shout out to Jonathan Milam for showing his video and just being an awesome guy who's got an amazing setup uh, and also it's it's worth giving a, a shout out to Action Tiles um, the guys at Action Tiles have created an amazing product uh, which lets you do things like this uh, and you know li obviously linking with smart things but also adding things from the tinter web like the, the gif images um, it's really cool and guys if you're watching this you've done a great job so thank you so i really hope you enjoyed that um, for any of the websites um, i've used in this video i'm going to put the links in the description below um, have a go if, if you've got smart things uh, get yourself an Action Tiles account have a play um, and let me know how you get on and, and share um, what you've come up with I'll leave a, a link to my uh, Facebook user group uh, share your images on there it would be awesome to see what you can do uh, but anyway that's it for this video if you liked it please press the like button uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe, so I really appreciate it. Cheers!